Hello everyone, today I'm going to share my Mualani build and teams with you in the short guide. As always, I start with the build, then go over teams, and at the end show some of this gameplay. Let's dance! Okay, yeah. so, fallen leaves, adorn my night, one with nature! Catch an epic wave! It's a fairly standard DPS build with the usual crit crit damage, in her case hydro damage bonus and of course max HP. As for element and mastery, you want to mainly use vaporize so I'd say 100 to 300 somewhere in between there is definitely a good place to be at. And then for energy recharge her burst skill hits very hard so you definitely want to get it off but it's also not that expensive so I think around 150% should be plenty. And depending on your weapon choice, you can even go way lower, um, like I did, for example, with 120%. As for talents, it's definitely mainly about the elemental skills, so definitely focus on this, but again, the burst skill hits very hard, you should definitely level this up next as well. As for the normal attacks, they don't do anything, just ignore them. As for constellations, again very straightforward, 1, 2 and 6 are basically only just extra damage for the elemental skill, and then constellation 4 is the only one focusing on the burst skill with extra damage but also extra energy generation which makes it even easier in terms of energy recharge. As for weapons, she actually has very good free to play options, of course if you played the web event you get this new craftable weapon ring of... I don't even want to attempt to pronounce this for free and it's a lot of extra normal attack damage which only increases your elemental skill damage but it's also a lot of extra HP so perfect for her in a sense. Otherwise you can also go for the prototype Amber which I like a lot but keep in mind I think it's kind of necessary to get refinement rank 5 because otherwise this effect is not that impressive. It refunds basically a third of your energy, which is nice because again the burst skill hits very hard, but you also get the, this healing effect, especially if you play like a DR team, you have so much damage mitigation then this healing will be basically enough on its own so you can drop a healer and open up new possibilities for team compositions. Otherwise, if you want to, you could even use the Thrilling Tales, it's extra HP and if you want to support like a jungling in your team with this effect, it can be quite decent as well. As for artifacts, we already covered substats earlier, as for main stats, I think the most straightforward option by far is HP percentage here, but if you're lacking a lot of elemental mastery, you could consider it at least. And then in this slot, I don't think she has too much bonus damage, so definitely hydro damage bonus, otherwise if you play like Kazuha or something, then you might want to consider HP percentage instead. And then in the last slot, crit or crit damage obviously, and if you play the new set which you want to get eventually, the Obsidian Codex, you get a lot of free crit chance, so it's likely gonna be crit damage here. And then for the set until you get there, I would just go for just broken two sets with like extra stats like elemental mastery, HP, hydro damage or even burst damage, again it hits very hard. In terms of team compositions, I think Mualani's role is very well defined. She is an on-field DPS, so you want to pair with off-field sub-DPS characters and utility characters. And I think this character is actually just designed around Vaporize. I think you can play Freeze, I tried it, it's not super impressive, because she is super slow in attacking and she hits like 3 or 4 times every rotation, so it makes so much sense to just apply Pyro every time beforehand to just literally double her damage. And this unfortunately means that in terms of teams she is a little bit one dimensional and there is only so much you can do with her. This Vaporize team was the one that stood out to me the most. Uh, of course instead of Kazuha you can also play Sucrose if you have if you don't have him and it's perfectly fine. It's only 4 star characters which makes it very accessible. And then Zhangling I think she is kind of a must because she has very high off field Hydra, uh, sorry, Pyra application with Goba and her burst skills simultaneously. Otherwise if you have Dia might actually work as well especially if you infuse like a Kazuha burst skill on top of that. And then Barbara she is actually surprisingly good because once you get Constellation 2 she not only activates Hydro Resonance for Mualani but also buffs extra Hydro damage. Otherwise you can obviously play something like Jean if you don't have another Hydro character, uh, sorry, a Nemo character in your team. Where is she? Um, there we go. Or you can even play someone like Zhongli for the extra resistance shred. And if we play Zhongli, it obviously makes perfect sense to go for Kichina for Geo Resonance and she can wear the new artifact set like Heroes of Cinder City or something like that. It's a lot of extra utility for Mualani. Of course, Kichina also triggers Night Soul Burst, which gives Mualani stacks for her passive skill for extra burst skill damage. 
But of course, I also don't have Kachina build, so I don't know how much personal damage she will do. But I can't imagine it's enough to um, make the trade off worthwhile because you will get extra off your geo application which will make the vaporize inconsistent and of course if we go for freeze we don't even have to talk about it off your geo um, application just shatters the freeze so it's pointless to play her in a freeze team in the first place so it's not super worthwhile with kachina just yet maybe if we get another geo character we can justify this um, more easily and of course, my idea isn't built yet, so I can't really tell how much damage this will do. But in terms of consistency, I like this team a lot because you get a lot of off-field Hydra, sorry, Pyro application to make the Vaporous with Moalani very consistent. On top of that, you also get Pyro Resonance for the extra damage for these two characters and extra Pyro Particles from Via to feed into Zhongling, which will make her burst a little bit easier to activate. And then in the last slot, again, someone like Barbara or Zhongli for the same reasons. But Jean, I like her quite a lot here because you can will pyro and hydro for the extra benefits but if you play the prototype amber you can even drop your healer altogether and you have enough sustain between walani and dia and play again someone like kazur or sucrose or if you have to even someone like farina she has very nice synergy with dia and you have so much pyro application that it should be good enough to um, have farina do her thing while um yeah, while, while uh, you vaporize with Moalani. And then really quickly at the end here, again, I tried Freeze, wasn't very impressed, but to just quickly go over it, I already talked about Kazu and Barbara, but Rosario, just a solid sub DPS with a crit rate buff for your on-field character, which is obviously nice for Moalani. But instead, you could also play like a constellation for Layla for the extra normal attack damage buff. And I think the problem with this is i'm obviously missing one key character like i said earlier and it is furina if you could play something like for example Jean in the last slot and then instead of kazua you pick furina of course i don't have her i just pick kokomi here for a stand-in it could be much more impressive because you get hydro resonance and Jean plus furina is just a nice combo and of course rosaria is just a good character here to fill and now for the showcase, again, Moalani is super simple to play. She's even a catalyst character, so you can do a normal attack to apply Hydra at the beginning of a fight, to set up for an Anemo character to swirl, for example, and then you switch to jungling, pop her skills to apply Pyro to set up the Vaporize. So let me do this here. Oh, nearly died there. <laughs> And I like to play um, Moalani right now, just pop her burst skill first thing, but I don't have it right now, so I switch to her elemental skill, get the three bite marks, so I just need to be in contact with them. And then right at the end of the night stage, you can just press the burst skill, and um, especially once you get the, what's it called, the um, obsidian set, the new one. You definitely want to activate the uh, elemental skill before you press the burst skill to get the extra 40% crit chance as well. So you might as well get in the habit of doing this right now. So right before the elemental skill runs out, just press the burst skill then. I think that's the perfect timing. But now I'm going to leave you with uh, some Abyss gameplay, but really quick before that, I think this was a good showcase of a fight that uh, showcases strength and also weaknesses of Mulani. First of all, she is really good at single target damage, so against bosses she is good in general, but if you have some that have a lot of invincibility windows or even just jump up like this one, if you set up your Vaporize and then you activate Mulani's elemental skill and she jumps up and you lose your entire damage window, it's obviously a little bit annoying. And on top of that, if you have multiple targets but you want to focus one, um, the damage gets split between all of them. So it's kind of hard to focus one in a group of enemies. So if you um, see the transition phase here and you definitely just want to damage the one with the circle to end the phase, then it's kind of weird if you um, can't really focus him because the damage gets split between all of them. That's also a little bit of a weakness of hers uh, in my mind. The wind knows let the show begin. Out of the frying pan, into the butt! Let's ride! One with nature. Nice and spicy. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful and gave you some inspiration for your own builds. And stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun and bye bye.